Hi guys, welcome to the locker. As you can see, I'm Legends of Cybertron. Um, this little video is something new to the channel. It's going to be a bit of a, a quarterly catch up of uh, Legend Scale releases, Legend Scale announcements, so on and so forth. And basically, a little plug to my own website. But anyway, before I get started on that, there's a few things I want to say thank you for. Uh, first off, TF Nation, if you're watching this, Thank you so much for letting me come along to your, um, you know, your minicon in Manchester a couple of weeks ago. It was my first traders um, stall at a convention, but not my first ever trading. Um, you can't really call trading a car boot sale with my dad for many, many years as trading, but I am accustomed to standing behind a stall talking to customers. Um, I also work in retail, so yeah, you know, that's the way it is. So, just want to say thank you to TF Nation for letting me come to the Minicon because it was a brilliant, met some really nice people there. Uh, Mark, you're following me, boy. I know. There's plenty more ledger scale for you, mate, where that came from. <laughs> uh, I also met Ranga as well, um, met the guys over at Toy Fu. Uh, there was also, oh, who else was it now? The guys at Primetime Toys, they were there. Just want to say thank you, hello to them. Um, who else was there? Oh, uh, RoboSen was there. I didn't win. Yeah, the way it is. <laughs> Just the way it is. And then there was the, oh, there was the stall across from me as well. I, they were very nice people. I uh, can't remember. Not that no, no one else was nice, because they were. Just, 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 you know, the way it is. I don't know how I said it. You know, it's just not what I mean. Everyone was nice though. I can't fault anyone. They were all nice. I enjoyed talking to a few people. I also enjoyed um, speaking about Legend Scale en masse, except for my wife and son who were sitting next to me, who didn't have a cur in the world. <laughs> just basically me. But well, that's just the way it is. Um, I would also, also like to say thank you to my followers on Instagram. I hit over 2,000 followers uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, well, they went to 2K followers. And basically, at the moment, I think I'm on 2,200 and something. Um, pure Legend Scale followers, pure Legend Scale fans. You know, thanks so much for coming along, being a part of the of the, of the page. Uh, and as you can see behind me, I do love my Legend Scale. And at last count, I was on... 180 plus uh, and that's not all here by the way <laughs> you know some of it's up in the attic out of the way uh, but there are obviously you know some of the ones like you know Papa Toys Magnus you've got Iron Factory Magnus you've also got New Age Magnus up here I've got quite a few Magnuses unfortunately it does need a bit of a dust <laughs> uh, I've also got Grimlock MXZ Toys version um, I'll get into that with the reviews um, got quite a few nice little shattered glass shelf there. We've got the Iron Samurai series here. You know, we've got um, uh, New Age here, MFT, New Age. I've uh, got all the Titans above. But anyway, so yeah, on last count, I was on uh, just over 180 figures, legend scale wise. Um, so, yes. Uh, what else was there? Oh, yes, I would also like to say thank you over on Weibo. Uh, over the past six months, I've had three companies follow me uh, over on Weibo. One being Rising Force, they were the first. Thank you, lads. Thank you so much for watching, uh, well, for following and for watching me, etc. Um, who do Dead End? Who, who is he? Is he here? Oh, Arachnophobia just fell over. That one? Well, Black Arachnid. Um, Dead End, very nice little figure, that one. Just put him on the shattered glass shelf for the time being. Um, and in the last couple of weeks, Dr. Wu has followed me on Weibo. Very nice fella. 
Uh, been talking back and forwards with him. Um, very nice lad. And also Magic Square Toys. So I am ecstatically happy at the fact that um, all these three companies have followed me. It, it's it's a brilliant feeling. It really is. Because, I mean, I only started this because I love to collect Legend Scale. Legend Scale is like the thing that I like to do. And to go out there and meet other people that are like-minded like me and also um, basically just carry the torch for Legend Scale because I, I kind of do, don't I? You know, I'm kind of like there with Liberty, you know, my torch. Not this kind of torch. Not this kind. I mean, to be fair, we are in the UK, so you need to just put the torch on your side. It. That's pretty much a UK version of the Statue of Liberty. Throw that over there. <laughs> uh, anyway, so... Before I get started uh, on the quarterly update on re releases, there's a lot coming. Uh, what I'm going to talk about, you know, Metroplex, Slug, or Slag, whatever you want to call it. Um, what else was there now? Hasbro, there's Core Class announcements. Uh, there's all sorts of different stuff coming out. Um, so, without further ado, I shall get around to talking about that. But for the time being, I'll just step this way so I can turn the video off and then be able to write down what I've got or what I need to talk about so I can just have it by hand and go, ha ha! See what I mean? And also, when I'm talking about them, I will have a picture or something come up here or here or here. Maybe not there, because that's pretty much like the end. Or up here. I don't know. Whichever way it goes. We'll talk about We'll talk about them. So for now, I'll see you in a minute. One minute, 37 seconds later. And I'm back. Did you miss me? Probably not, because it's like literally seconds. But anyway, so we have a lot to talk about. Okay, we have a ton to talk about. So, in the last three months, we've had TFCon, all right? In the, in the States. And in the States, we had announcements by Magic Square, we had announcements by Iron Factory, by New Age. And so I'm just going to go through them who were at TFCon. All right. So, first on the, the old list is um, Magic Square. Now, at TFCon, we didn't really get very much announcements, just kind of like what we knew what was coming already, which a lot of people were disappointed with, but to be fair, at the end of the day, we kind of knew what was coming. And Magic Square, and in general, are going to be working on six different figures this year. They're going to be working on the Combaticons, and they're going to be working on Slug. More than likely, towards the end of the year, they'll probably work on either Snarl or Swoop. Because I think it was Ranga I was talking to, um, or my mate Gareth. Uh, it was one of those two I was talking to, and I said, I said, New Age have brought out Grimlock. I said, Magic Square will bring out either Sludge or Slag next. Slug, Slug. Sorry, my bad. Um, and I said, it'll go on like that. Uh, a lot of people, you know, have been like, oh, well, why didn't Magic Square go with Grimlock? Well, you don't really want to go head to head with another company. You want to go, if you, if you are going to go head to head, you have to go head to head with a different character. So New Age have gone with Grimlock, Magic Square are going with Slug. And on New Age's next list is Sludge. So, anyway, so back to Magic Square. Magic Square basically didn't really bring out too much information because they are going to be working on quite a lot in terms of combiners. So, Combaticons, um, you obviously you've got your Onslaught and Bra Brawl, sorry, and Swindle and Vortex and Blast Off uh, to form Bruticus. Which in itself is a hard thing to do because it's literally a combiner, isn't it? So anyway, let's get back to it. So you had Slug as well. Um, they also in the last week have announced or given out promo pics of um, a Brawl. And there's actually already a stop motion video out there of Brawl. If you've been on my Facebook profile, you'll know it, you'll see it. Uh, it's fantastic, it's brilliant. Um, but yeah, it literally... That was pretty much all that Magic Square had to offer at TFCon. Later on, they've released promo pics for um, 
the uh, shatter glass version of Jetfire, which is entitled Dark Knight. So, and that's pretty much how Magic Square stands really at the moment for this year. I pretty much think that's pretty a full year for them, if I'm being honest. Um, where New Age would more than likely bring out several different versions of one character, Magic Square kind of go into um, not quality. What's the word I'm looking for? Um, just go. They just focus on one character at a time, which is good. You know, New Age. I'm not saying that New Age don't do it because they do. They do focus on one character at a time. It's just that they have like different versions of the same character that come out, so they have to kind of work just as hard as what Magic Square are doing. I'm not making much sense to me, if being honest. I know what I'm talking about, it's fine. <laughs> no problem. So uh, at, TF, at TFCon, we also had a massive announcement by Iron Factory of figures that's coming out. So listen to this, you've got the female Seekers, which a lot of people knew were coming anyway, but we didn't actually get any pictures of them until recently. Um, back at TFCon, it was all, um, basically um, graphic design everything was graphic design since then we've had promo picks for the, the female seekers for the great galvatron and for brawn um so but anyway let's let's just go through the list of iron factory figures that were announced at uh, tfcom uh, so we have brawn we have outback we have the female seekers we have town who's been re-released because they're re-releasing helix and tessarus or tessarus whichever we want to call it uh, in the colours of purple, so basically the combiner will be purple and uh, the other two guys, as Voss and Kaon, are not being released but pretty much it's just, they're just a gun you know, uh, I mean, I can understand why they're not releasing it but there you go uh, we're also going to get a version of uh, Shatterglass Beast version Magnus, so this guy but in Shatterglass colours uh, we're also getting a white Magnus uh, which eventually when he comes out you can retransform this in a different way and the white magnus will fit onto the front of this this guy instead of him using the white tray the white semi that he comes with so there you go uh you've also got gray galvatron we've talked about that uh, a little bit before then the samurai series goes into full effect we've got um inferno sideswipe sunstreaker red alert cheetah Grapple, Art Fire, Smokescreen, Prowl, Blue Streak. Sh um, we've also got um, Optimus Primal coming out, Cheats coming out. We've also then got the Shattered Glass Power Glide coming out. We've also got uh, Shattered Glass Optimal Optimus, or at least I think that's what that is. Uh, and we've also got uh, Leadfoot. So a lot coming out of Iron Factor this year. Um, I'm probably. Probably, if I'm being honest, when it comes to Iron Factory, when it gets to the end of the year, some of these might not be out just yet. Pretty much what it was like last year, they advertised Ratchet for this year, for the end of 2022. Um, but he never, he's not even surfaced yet, it's the beginning of 2023. Well, we're a quarter of the way through 2023 and Ratchet's still not appeared. Uh, I think basically the last Samurai series one was Iron, Ironhide, the end of last year. So... So we got that, uh, we talked about Magic Square, talked about Iron Factory, New Age. So at uh, TFCon, we, the New Age announced quite a few figures that were coming out. Mainly it was um, uh, Autobot X or Spike, which is H54 Frankenstein. Uh, this is going to be a special figure at first that you can buy. After that, later on, he'll be in five different packs that New Age will release. So you still get the figure eventually, but it's like a builder figure, you know, which I always like a builder figure. You know, it's just the way it is. But I mean, if I'm being honest, I kind of like, would like Frankenstein. I will just say Autobot X or Spike, whatever. Um, but that's pretty much, I'm not bothered. Either way will do me. Uh, we also had announcements of H55 Hughes, H55B Goblin, H55S Flying Worm which is basically Power Glide. So you've got normal Power Glide, you've got uh, the Shattered Glass version of Power Glide, and you've got the G.I. Joe version of Power Glide, um, or Viper. In in Transformers um, Combiner Wars, he was Viper, wasn't he? So I think that might be his name. I'm not really sure. I'm not, I'm not, not fully clued up on that character, but 
uh, he's been announced and since then promo pics have come out for these guys and they look immense uh, we've also had um, pics of sludge uh, uh, on the internet for the last couple of weeks but also at TFCon his promo pic, not his promo pic, um, sorry a picture of Sludge was uh, released anyway, along with um, Automox Spike and Power Glide, etc. Uh, but it wasn't the a promo pick as such, it was more of a um, design pick type of thing, you know, like a poster pick. Um, so, also, we had the same type of poster picks for Huffer, Pipes, and Wind Charger, who are <laughs> aptly nicknamed Balin, Dwalin, and Feely. Um, basically from The Hobbit, you know, um, and we all pretty much know those names, don't we? Uh, they're H58, H59 and H60. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, you can talk about Omega Supreme as well, the main one. Uh, H53 Michael was also announced in January with the promo pics that came out. Uh, well, it was actually, I think it was announced in December, I think it was. But the promo picks came out in January. Uh, pretty much quite a nice, nice figure. A lot of people are getting it now. Uh, mine's coming up on um, on a lucky draw next month. So make sure you, you tune in to ledgerscalecollector.com for that. And Instagram for any details up, up and coming on that. Uh, today, obviously, we're in April. But I'm going to just talk about these announcements now, why I'm doing the video now, because the next video I do will be in, what is it, June? Uh, April, May, June, yeah. Probably at the beginning of July by the time I talk about the next set of uh, announcements. So, uh, yeah, basically, so uh, they also announced today, New Age, they were bringing out Omega Supreme uh, as a Y-Zing limited edition, which is H53D. A lot of some people call him Omega Doom, but Shatter Glass and Mega Supreme is different colours. It's a different colour scheme. Uh, he's more. He's got orange and got a bit of silver, a bit of black. Um, the design's slightly different, only a little bit different. Not much. He's still a Mega Supreme or a Mega Doom, um, but he's not the Shatter Glass version. So this version kind of like looks like the McFans Toys version that came out, black, red, and grey. I think it is. You can use them as chassis class version if you wanted to. It's up to you. I probably will do. I'll probably stick them on my shelf. <laughs> uh, we've also got the X version coming out of Omega Supreme. And a new thing that they seem to be doing quite a bit is the Z series, which is like a battle damaged, war torn version um, of Omega Supreme. He's coming out. But that also leads me to the next announcement. Uh, they're bringing out a Z version of Ymir and also Devastator. So obviously Grimlock and Devastator are getting the Z series treatment and also Bumblebee and Cliff Jumper. Okay, so next on the list I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Hasbro. Hasbro have released quite a lot of or should I say made a lot of announcements but when they make an announcement they all kind of like have the promo picks ready to go. You know there's no um blueprint of a picture or a poster or anything like that it's always a promo um pick so basically what they have announced and what have they have released uh studio series rc freezer and ironhide uh they've also got legacy grimlock sludge slug swoop scar nemesis prime and thundercracker uh yep so they're all coming out We've also got Iron Romance Workshop, who has released promo pictures of the Rampage that's coming out uh, in the last three months. Uh, X Transbots as well at TFCon have announced that they are getting into the Legend Scale market with the Mini 01 Fuzz, or better known as Streetwise to us. Uh, yes, they are doing a Defensor. They certainly are. Uh, that's that page. No, it's not Rising Force. Rising Force have also uh brought out um or talked about uh with um what's the word now i don't mean promo picks for this one i mean what's the word uh prototype that's it can't think of the word then prototype picks for breakdown drag strip and motormaster 
uh, this being they're called coyote, hyena and howl, uh, basically in that order. So breakdown is coyote, drag strip is hyena and motor master is ho howl. And they said howl. Uh, they've also released at this current time Wild Rider, who is also known as Crow. Um, they did do promo picks back in January, I think it was for that, but he's out now to buy. Uh, I will have him on the website soon. Uh, let's turn the page over. Metagate also announced at TFCon that they are bringing out a Legend Scale line for Bumblebee the movie, uh, which the first one is called Huge Fire All One. It's basically Optimus Prime. Um, same height as New Age uh, Optimus Prime, so I'll just grab Shattered Glass version here. So basically the same height as this guy. He will be. Um, I think there's a stop motion about that as well. That was actually quite nice too. Uh, so that's that one. We've also got Kang Toys. They've just, or oh, they're going to release Tantrum very soon this month um, for people to buy. And next on the list is Headstrong. And they released prototype slash promo picks of Thor Gorilla. I don't know how that's going to work out, him being honest. Uh, I'm kind of used to the Predacons being just five, but, you know, it doesn't matter. I'm going to have a gorilla that's not Optimus Prime. I mean, could you really call him Optimus Prime? I suppose you could really. Yeah, okay. It's either one or the other, isn't it? Uh, then we've also got Caillou Models. Now, this is, this is quite a big uh, announcement because... Kyun Models actually announced that they are bringing out a Legend Scale Metroplex. Now, when I say Legend Scale, okay, it's scaled to Legend Scale, which is kind of like Legends Class, that I like to call Legends Class, but uh, he isn't as tall as normal Legends Class. He is, however, the same height as O1 Studios Unicron, which you can probably just see the legs off there on the video. Uh, Metroplex is going to be the same height as that, and as you can see, that is New Age Galvatron underneath him. So, if you look at him, probably to Metroplex, it's actually quite a good size. It's going to be a great size. If you go on my Instagram page, you'll actually see uh, promo pics. Uh, it's, they're not promo pics. I keep saying promo pics. I don't mean promo pics. Um, I mean uh, prototype pics, where they're like showing the height of the figure next to normal everyday new age or magic square type figures you know uh anyway so yeah and he's called vladivostok so but i'm looking forward to that really like the look of that uh we've also got uh studio cell um also released um prototype picks of primus so he's coming soon at some point so let's hope that's uh, going to come along i'm hoping to get him in for the website for that one uh, we've also got for Caillou Models, they are the release picks uh, of a Legend Scale Raiden that they're working on. Uh, they only released one character. I'm not really sure what the character is called because I'm not not well upon Raiden. I apologise, but I'm very much G1, so I'm over there. I've never really watched any of the cartoon uh, versions, Chinese cartoon versions. Um, I would like to. I'd definitely like to. Um, but it's like getting around to watching it, you know what I mean? But anyway, but yeah, they're working on Raiden as a Legend Scale. So we're going to have a train bot as well in Legend Scale, which is fantastic if you ask me. Um, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, that is pretty much it. Um, I'm not sure if I've missed anything out. There's actually a lot there. Um, but yeah, hopefully... Um, we can come around to seeing a lot more of these on the shelves uh, especially in my shelves <laughs> um or on your shelves because let's be honest we, we, we love our legend scale don't we if you're here on my channel and you're here on instagram you you love your legend scale and you know that's just the way it is we are like we like our thing um so uh, yeah so thanks very much for watching please like subscribe uh follow me on um, instagram uh, Legends of Cybertron or Legends or Legends Scale Collector. Let's put my teeth back in for that one. Uh, I'm also on Facebook. Uh, there is a group and a page of Legends Scale Collectors, so make sure you follow both of those if you can. 
Uh, the group is more uh, website based where the page is more fan based. So you could just put your post on there of your collection that you have, etc. Um, and I'd love to see it. I really would. Um, but yeah, thanks very much for watching. I hope you uh, subscribe to the channel, tell your friends about me. I hope one day I see you all at a proper TF Nation uh, in August, which I am aiming for for next year. So hopefully I will be there with my stall. And hopefully it will be a lot bigger and better than what it was at Minicon. Okay, so again, thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys again soon. For me and my legends. See you soon.